What's good, everyone? It's the Aggie Coach, man. I'm excited, man. I'm so excited. I, I can't believe this. Dog, look what I just finished, man. Um, this is the South Carolina State Bulldogs. And I just finished working on this team for my father. And um, I'm so excited because my father is uh, wants to get involved with miniature football, man. And, um, so we were sitting around one day talking and uh, he was watching some of my videos and uh, came over to the house and watched me play for a little while and he was so excited about it. My father uh, used to coach football so um, a lot like he's so I'm a lot like him in that both of us are really passionate about football especially college football. So. So my father asked me to um, to do the South Carolina State Bulldogs for him, um, to add him to the Fat Eight Conference. So I set out to um, start teaching him how to play. Let me let me thank uh, let me thank Big Lock real quick for a lot of the fourth and one um, poses that he sent. Um, I really appreciate it, man. And, and just to give you a shout out, dog, uh, my father says hello. And, um, and thank you for the figures. Um, thank you for the donation. So we set out to put this thing together, man. Big Lock sent up some figures for my father um, to help him put together a team. And I collected as many figures as I could, um, both from footballfigure.net and from Tudor. So my dad has a, has a team with a, a very, very interesting range um, of poses and, um, and and various types of figures on his team. So I'm excited, man, to to finally introduce these guys to you. I wish my dad were here right now um, so that he could get a chance to talk a little bit about his vision for the South Carolina State Bulldogs. That'll be another video that we'll do later. We will get around to doing that. Um, but before we do, let me just introduce the team to you. Man. So, South Carolina State, man, coming into the conference, remember I told you guys some time ago, and you probably heard me say this quite a bit um, in the past, in that uh, all, all, each team, each team has to have their own offense, and for the most part, we don't want to recycle offenses, in that we don't want to have three or four teams in the conference all running high for each. It's just it's so boring, and um, or just kind of doing the cookie cutter thing, where uh, you don't really have a plan and you just kind of I'm gonna just do what I think works. And it, you know, for for college football, the is is a part of the atmosphere, part of the college experience is Georgia Tech running the option. You know what I'm saying? The Ducks with the spread. Like all of the schools have their own kind of their own charisma. They have their own flow, their own style, their own their own tradition. Their you know all of these things. This rich tradition is like a part of the college experience. So we want to bring that uniqueness to the Fat Eight Conference, and I think that's one of the things that makes the Fat Eight Conference so unique is that every single team is going to be coming with a different offense which means your defense whatever the style of defense that you've chosen if you've chosen 3-4 or 4-3 or 4-4 or 5-2 or whatever it is that you're playing you're gonna have to be able to adjust that scheme to uh, it's gonna be different for every team that you play in this case my father's South Carolina State Bulldogs check it out y'all Check it out. The Bulldogs in the wing tee. 
So this is kind of the thing that you guys are gonna see with the wing T. You're gonna see, and I'm gonna just show you guys something really quick before I start um, introducing the players. So you're gonna see this kind of thing where this guy is gonna come in the backfield over here, right? And the quarterback is gonna make the handoff going this way. Where number five will get the ball going this way. Or you'll see this kind of thing. Or you'll see, you'll see, you'll see this guy get the handoff, get the um, fake up the middle, and you'll see this guy come around and get the handoff over here and go in this way. You know what I mean? So like, it's going to be really unique with the way that these guys play. You're going to have this fake up the middle right here. You're going to have this guy coming around. He's going to get the handoff over here, and as he's going out, this wide receiver is going to be dumping out here in the corner, and he's going to be throwing this halfback pass over here on the corner, on the corner route. So it's like that kind of stuff, man, that's coming to the table. And so it brings for uh, a very unique feel to the conference and not just a straight drop back pass. Um, you know, not just a straightforward thing. We're trying to, the whole goal of this thing is to, is to try to capture, try to capture the uniqueness of each of the schools. So one of the things that we did, one of the things that I did earlier on when I first designed the Fat Eight was I created, uh, I created an offense generator. And so basically at the, at the beginning of the season, I randomly rolled dice for each team. Whatever you roll on two dice, one through 12, Whatever you roll would determine what offense that team will be playing. And that team has to stick to that offense for the duration of, of the season. And if the coach gets fired halfway through, that team now has to roll on the chart again and pick a different offense with a new coach coming into the conference. So it's, it's really cool um, with the way that we're doing this thing and it's really exciting. Uh, the other thing that you see here, check it out, South Carolina State's defense, guys. Check out the defense. Let me swing it around. They're running a 4-4-3. Four, four, four down linemen, four linebackers. Two corners, got a cover corner over here, number 25. Right? And one safety, not two. One safety. So this is the scheme for South Carolina State, man. That's what they're doing. That's what they're bringing to the table in the Fed 8. Which means that um, a lot of these teams are gonna have to are gonna have to really adjust to this new kind of offense. This is something that we hadn't seen. These guys are gonna be debuting in season two, but we're gonna be shooting we're gonna be shooting their first scrimmage game um, next week in the on the new field, Legion Park. So you guys definitely stay tuned, man. Check it out. It's gonna be good. Um, I'm going to let you guys know who the Bulldogs are going to be playing. It's going to be my father's first game, first fully broadcasted game. So um, he is really excited about it. So that's the direction that we're going in. So let me introduce the players to you guys really quickly. Um, my dad spent a lot of time, uh, he spent a lot of time naming these naming his players weighing every single player um assigning positions we went through the offense in great detail training the offensive line and the backfield and the wide receivers to the new scheme using the blocking sled and um we ended up creating some more training equipment just to train this team tweaking up the bases and so forth trying to get them ready so um let me introduce the quarterback. His name is James Henry. He's a uh, three grams. Then Joel Brown is number five that you see right here. He's actually a halfback, but he's in the slot. That's Joel Brown right there. Then Sam Leak, number 22. That's the fullback over here. Okay. Nick Rayner, number 89. It's a wide receiver over here closest to us. Number six, Clyde Boston. So over there on the side, he's another wide receiver. That's Clyde. Okay. Number 79. Number 79 is the tight end. This is Pitt Campbell right here. All right. And then on to the offensive line. Let me get behind him so you guys can check out 
Offensive line, number 58 is Henry McCoy. Number 51 is David um, Dockery. Number 61 is Sel Campbell. Uh, number 50 is Beverly Deberry. And number 54 is Ar Arnold Thomas. So that is the offense. On to the defense really quickly, and then I'm going to stop. Um, so for the defense, left defensive end is number 72. Okay, that's Sidney Kelly. Right defensive end is Tony Brown. The left and right defensive tackles, respectively, Donnie Williams and Lee Smith. The outside linebacker, and left and right outside linebackers, um, Bill Farmer and Omar Elliott. The left and inside linebacker and the right inside linebacker. Roy Brown and Jimmy Maxton, and the two corners. Number 17 is James Tyson, and number 25, the cover corner, is John Tyson, their brothers. And the safety, number 9, Lonnie Murphy. That is the team, South Carolina State Bulldogs. So you guys are going to get a chance to see these guys. I'm really excited. Um, I wanted to point this out because I, I had so much fun painting this team. Um, up for my dad and I think it was even more exciting just because of the fact that my dad wants to play with me um, just made it more exciting so as you guys can see I did some interesting uh, things with the shoes um, everybody has their own different kind of cleats on I made them all unique as you can see the safety back here Lonnie Murphy with the new balance on um, we got some Adidas we got some Nike um, various different types of, uh, of shoes that you guys can see here. So that's it, man. I'm going to stop it here because I'm going over too long. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the team. South Carolina State Bulldogs. Um, my father will be playing his first game soon. Um, enjoy, man. Talk to you guys later.